Hi everybody, Danielle back from when it was. I'm here with my promised uh, thrift haul. I have so much stuff to show you, you guys. I've been saving it up all month long. I have so much stuff. I can't even begin to tell you like how excited I am. I've got like some Murano and I have Fenton and I have these things called Nude, which I'd never heard of before. But apparently they're worth some money um, and I just have so much stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and let you and let you guys share in my excitement <clears throat> and I have my trusty little list going here this is how I keep uh, track of my inventory and I write down how much I paid for it and but I'm not really good about going back and writing how much I sold sold it for but at least I have my inventory right here in this trusty book just for this year though I didn't start that until January um, okay now um, I have as you can see I have a whole page so we have a whole bunch and I have to um, look around because for some reason Oh, you know what? I don't even know if I even wrote the address down, so. I've got everything. I've got it buried here, so i got to move things gently, carefully. Y'all, I found my glassy baby out in the wild. And the, the crazy thing, I paid $10 for it. And the crazy thing about this glassy baby was that I walked into my favorite... Uh, little tiny thrift stop, a uh, thrift store, and it's called Brown Elephant. And it's just a tiny little place. It's mostly closed, but it's got a few shelves of of, of hardware, good uh, knick knickknacks and stuff. So, and I I started to go straight for that shelf, and for some reason I didn't. I think something caught my eye, and I stopped. And then I came around, and I forgot to go to that shelf. And I came around, and this girl is sitting on the floor with a basket that the baskets are underneath the candle holders, sitting on the floor with a basket, taking pictures of her basket. And I looked in her basket, it was just a little cloth bath basket, and it had like 15 glassy babies in it. I missed it by like two minutes. You want to know how heartbroken I was. I would have paid the 150 200 you know, $150 for all those glassy babies. But I just, I was incredulous. I looked at her and I said, are those glassy babies? She goes, yes. And I said, oh, I said, I've always dreamed of finding one of those in the wild since, you know, Jocelyn with our crazy lamp lady talks about them. And um, anyway, so it does have the distinguished mark on the back. And then it even says glassy baby, which in my camera, it's gonna be backwards to y'all, but. Um, my grand darling was with me and she said, do you want one? And I said, oh, that's so sweet. And I had picked out a, just a bright, bright orange one. And I asked my grand darling, I said, which one do you want? She looked down and she said, I want the purple one. So we got the purple one. And anyway, I'm so excited. And y'all, these are so heavy. They are not, um, you'll know when you pick up a glassy baby as soon as you pick it up because it just looks like a normal like generic candle holder until you pick it up and then you're like oh i did it i found it so anyway so she was so sweet to share one of them with me but then yeah she bought the rest i asked if i could have two i thought i'd try it you know because i really wanted that orange one and she wouldn't let me have it and i'm like okay i was just happy to get one and then okay so I'm going to lay that down and put this up here. I've got so much stuff here, you guys, that I'm going to actually, I think, I've got a ton of boxes on the floor. And I think what I'm going to do, because I've got so much, is as I speak it about it, I'm going to lay it in here just to get it off the table so I don't break anything. Uh, spaghetti glasses. Y'all, do you remember these? Some of you will. Some of you will have no idea what these are. They have a weird texture. Um, because this is, and let's see, I've got one that's coming off, so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Here we go. So it's got like this, uh, plastic melted around it with the spaghetti paint in it. 
So this one is coming off, as you can see. Now I paid five dollars each for these, and um, I've got. Uh, let's see. I gotta move things around so that I can show you. I got six of them. So I got two orange, two green, a yellow, and I want to say it's a, uh, what, I can't even think of the name of that color. But anyway, so I got two, four matching and then two oddballs. So I, my brain is not going to tell me the name right off the bat. But anyway, so I'm going to set those down there. Okay, there we go. And then next I have these beautiful, they're Ainsley Bone China, and I can't believe that the flowers aren't chipped up. For a dollar a piece, I bought these salt and pepper shakers. And at first I couldn't tell what they were, but I just thought they were little, beautiful little flowers. But then I noticed in the top, you can see the holes in them. So I noticed in the top they had little holes and then the bottom had the hole for the stopper. It's like, yeah. Now it does say Ainsley on there in Bone China. These are really beautiful, a dollar each for them. So I paid $2 for those. I'm not gonna set that in the box because I don't want those flowers to get chipped up. And then next, marbles. I did write the marbles down. Y'all yeah, look at these marbles. Some of them are, are newer model or marbles, but some of them, uh, look at this boulder. Now, I played marbles as a kid, so we've got, we've got cat eyes in here. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. This is the biggest boulder, and this one sells, I paid $3 for the whole bag. I, I, I took it out of the other bag because it was just tate, 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 and I wanted to be able to look around and see. But this is a huge boulder, and then they've got the sm the smaller boulders in here. And let me see, we got got the uh, I can't even. And it's been so many years since I played. I couldn't even remember. I can't even. I couldn't even tell you the names of all of these. But then they then it goes down to the marbles and. Some of them are vintage, some of them are not. And no, none of them glow, but look at that one. That one's so pretty. Um, but none of them glow. But I honestly didn't buy them for the smaller marbles. I bought them for the boulders. I bought it for the boulders. And now I don't know if these are vintage or not. I haven't Googled them yet, but there's black and white ones in there. And I'm thinking they're just part of a game. I don't know. I, I don't, re again, <laughs> Like, I know there's stuff mixed in there because that's just a little tiny cheap plastic bead. So I know the new ones are mixed up with the old ones. And so I literally have to just go through them and sort them out and see what, what all's in here. Um, but I do know the boulders are worth some money. And then next on our list are my Tonala bird. Y'all, I found a beautiful little Tonala bird, $5 I paid for him. And it says Tonala on the bottom, and it's uh, Tonala Mexican bird. And I, I, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, it is signed. Sorry, that, my brain, you know. You guys have been around long enough, you know my brain just, just like stops all of a sudden. Um, it is artist signed. Isn't that pretty? Really, really beautiful little Tonala bird. Uh, okay. Okay, next, I bought this little Yorkie. Now, I paid $1.99 for it. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Now, I was thinking silky, and I think more silky. I mean, silky is also a terrier, and sil people always call silkies uh, Yorkies. Um, so along the same line. So Yorkie, Silky, on, on all the listings on eBay, everybody says Yorkie. To me, this is a Silky, and when I picked it up, the first thing I thought was Silky. Those of you who know Yorkies and Silkies will know the difference, and maybe you guys can let me know uh, in the comments below what your opinion is. If I'm wrong, is it a Silky or is it a Yorkie? I paid $1.99, I just thought it was beautiful, so um, just a great little ornament for gift for somebody who has a dog like this. 
Uh, and then this, my grand darling found this. She loves, loves, loves to go uh, shopping with me. And she found this for $2, a fused glass butter dish. And I haven't looked this one up yet. I'll probably ask 15 for it just, you know, because it it's probably something, I don't know, that you get at TJ Maxx or something. I don't know, but she fell in love with it. So I went ahead and got that one. Cleared enough of a little hole here. Okay, <laughs> You're, this is actually, I don't know if I'm gonna actually sell this or not, but I've got, look how cute, this corn husk scarecrow shelf sitter doll. And I just think, I just thought it was so cute. It was only $3. And the, I, I, I just fell in love with it. Like, look at the, look at the curls they did with the corn husk. The feet are cut corn husk. And I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm actually going to sell this one. I may hang on to this because I just, I just think, look at that face. Is that not the cutest thing? <laughs> so I may, I may hang on to this one, but I don't know. We'll see. But I, I pay three dollars. So uh, either way. And, and she's actually holding my book open for me. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, what? Okay. Now, I, I, okay, I've got these things and I keep moving them around because I really don't know what to do with them. And I will show you at the end and maybe look and help me figure out what they are. But I found five, there's only five goblets. These are bent pottery. And it says be bent on the bottom and I pay two dollars each for these now y'all you know I like uh, uh, studio art pottery and I saw these and I couldn't pass them up look how pretty they are I love 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 look at the feet look at the design they just look like I don't know trees that have just grown into these beautiful wine goblets and each one is a, it's its own design, and there's those two. Let's put those down there, and then here are yeah. Every one of them's got a unique design to them. There's these two. Aren't these so pretty? I fell in love with these, and I don't know. I just, I, I love studio art pottery. That's just my thing. That's my jam. And then this one is the last one. And there we go. And you can see each one is different. I mean, they have the same theme of the sun or the sunflower or whatever that is. But each one, even the, the bases are all different. They just, I just thought it was awesome. Awesome. And none of them are chipped. Unfortunately, there's not. There was only five. Mm. Okay, so this is a bohemian glass. Now, I put this in there. I have to order some more of these because when I sell these, I do sell them with the wicks in them. So I need to order some more. But this is a Art Crystal Bohemian Egg. And I paid $8.97 and it's signed on the bottom. It's got its thing on the bottom. Very clear. Very pretty. Now, I do collect uh, oil. I was looking at my oil lamps. I've got three, two other eggs over there. So I do collect these glass oil lamps. <laughs> I think I collect everything. Um <laughs> But I, the good thing about this is I can have my beautiful collection. I can have them all sitting out. And then when I'm tired of having that collection, I can just list them and sell them. And they're all good to go. I'm going to go set this over here. Get that off my table because that's not going to my storage unit. What do I have next? I have... Okay. So next I have, and you guys have seen this before because I've picked up several of them and they're sitting over in my curio cabinet. I'm getting quite a collection of these oil, I mean, uh, perfume bottles. 
Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, I'm, I'm, I always forget because I always look at the outside and make sure. I always forget to pull the stopper out and go, is it whole? I do have one over there that I forgot to do that. I paid $6 for this. Now, mind you, on this one um, and a couple other ones, uh, it, it was senior day. <sighs> senior day. <laughs> and... Um, so it was like 25% off, I think. And, and yeah, so I've got duplicates. I, I don't know. I, I, I am looking at my, my curio cabinet, wondering if I have du duplicates over here. But I don't think I do. I think they're all, no, they're all different. This one is one of the bigger ones. Okay, well, I'm going to set that in there. They're all different. Now I've got five beautiful little perfume bottles and I do have another perfume bottle on the table and because I'm trying to clear the table off as I talk I'm putting stuff in a box which I need to get another box out now I'm putting stuff in a box and then the stuff I'm keeping I'm putting where they need to go <clears throat> let me see this is a good box I'm gonna make them too heavy so that I can't carry them and what is that okay that's the front elephant receiver I need that all right there we go all right, next, 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 next. Okay, so I got, I found this little cute little milk glass bunny on the nest. There we go, and I, I paid $2 for this. And it is milk glass, and it's just tiny, 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 like, I'm gonna get rid of that. So I can show you, like, the size of the, by the palm of my hand. Now, I do have big hands, but, you know, it, it's so tiny, and I just love this. The last tiny nest I had was a turkey, and it sold. So um, somebody just came home, and, you know, I, I live in the basement apartment of my son's house, and so whenever somebody comes home, I can hear all the noise that goes on upstairs. So I think my daughter-in-law just walked in the door. Anyway, isn't that cute? So, yeah. That's that one. That's another one that's not going to go in the box. I need to wrap all this up. Okay, you guys. Now, I talked about nude, nude crystal. Now, uh, I had never heard of nude before. And I saw these in Brown Elephant. And they were marked $20 a piece. So, yes, they do mark high sometimes. So... I saw these for $20 a piece, so I immediately thought, okay, they think they have something good. Let me look it up, find out why they are charging $20 a piece for. And the good thing about this is they know me in there. So I, if I say, you know what, I want to get those, can you, you know, can you offer me a deal on them? They always do. And so this was one of them. I've got uh, three of them. Two of them in this amber color, amber. That was the word I was looking for earlier. And then one white one. And now the white one is not marked as a nude. Like, let me see if you can see here. It says nude here. It's a, This one's a sticker, but on the bottom, I don't want to drop that blade, so I'm going to set it down. On the bottom, it is. it does say nude on the bottom, etched in. But the white one doesn't have that um, sticker. It doesn't have the etching on the bottom that says nude. So I don't know if this white one is a repop or uh, if it's an actual nude. But it does look exactly the same. And when you go on the website, now you know what, there was a sticker here, so that may have been where the nude sticker was, because it looks like it was a round sticker, and the nude sticker on that one is round as well. Anyway, so y'all, that's obviously a new thing that I, you know, because I've been doing this for, what is 23, about a four or five years now? About five years now. And never heard of that. Never heard of that. But then all of a sudden, there it was. Um, and so when I told him, and here's my third one. Now, these are the small ones. They have bigger ones. Um, these sell for about 
$75, $80 a piece. Um, when I asked him, and I had a basket full of stuff, and when I asked him if he could cut me a deal, he goes, yeah, I'll give them to you for $15 each. Okay, I'll take that. <clears throat> and then he literally looked at my basket and then just charged me $60 for everything. And so basically I paid full price for these and got everything else free. <laughs> and so that was nice. I did like that. I did indeed like that. And okay. And then I got, I'm trying to keep, I'm going down the list here so I don't miss anything. Now y'all, when I was in there, I went in there a couple of days later after I got my nudes. Um, my grand darling has doctor's appointments up in the northern, in the north part of Chicago. And so while she's at her doctor's appointment, I'll run over to Brown Elephant because it's only like four minutes apart. So I went in a couple of days later. Well, I had already seen pretty much everything they had. So there was nothing new. Um, and this couple was bringing in some new stuff. <laughs> And they had literally just set it up. And I didn't know. I didn't know they had just put it there. It was it was on the cart of things to be priced. And I walked over and I picked this up. And y'all, she goes, oh, we just brought that in. Because I was looking for a price tag. She goes, oh, it's not priced yet. We just brought that in. And the husband is bringing stuff and setting stuff down. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I said, why? would you donate something as beautiful as this? And the husband's like, yeah, well, we're downsizing and we just have too much stuff. And they were probably in their late 70s, early 80s, the, you know, elderly couple, just cute, cute couple. And um, I'm like, I get that. So, and he said, I think we got that in Los Angeles, didn't we? And whatever her name was. She goes, yeah, I think that's where we got that. So I said, I want that. She goes, he goes, well, I'll tell you what, we'll just give it to you. You just go throw a couple of bucks at them and tell them you want it. I said, no, you're already in the store. You've already, you know, donated it. I'll wait, you know, I'll ask them to price it for me. So I went over and like I said, the guys know me. I said, so there's a vase over there I want. I was wondering if you could price it for me. And um, he goes, well, I'll wait until they leave because I don't like to price in front of people. I'm like, I... I, I get that. I, I get it. So he, after they, like the second they walked out the door, he walked over and he goes, this one? I said, yeah. And he goes, $15. Okay, I'll take it. All right, y'all. And it's the only thing I bought that day, just because there was really nothing else. I'd already gone through everything. I got it home. This is a Murano. This is a Murano vase. It's very heavy. And I mean, it's just gorgeous now that you've heard my story y'all these sell for one person has it listed for 250 dollars, which bothers me because it bottoms out the market but then um everything else the minimum is 1200 dollars listed for $1,200, sold on multiple sites throughout. Not this exact one, obviously, because they're all uniquely made, but very similar. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, no, but look how shiny that is, and that's so pretty. Now, I did just see that in the light, and it looks like it was set down while it was still hot on something and just kind of made a little indentation, because that is not a chip. Um, but yeah, so $1,200, $1,200 or more. One person's got theirs listed for like $1,600. Um, yeah, so anyway, needless to say, that is going to be sold to a Murano collector. Um, I probably won't even bother listing it on eBay just because I think I'm, I'm getting into a group of Murano collectors on Facebook and you know who buy and sell and trade out Murano and I will probably offer that one on that one because you know they're gonna be looking for stuff like this that being said I got that beautiful Murano piece and then I got another piece of Murano at Salvation Army and it was 50% off 
look at that. Is that not with the white encased in, in, uh, <laughs> and then you can see the shiny bottom because Murano is known for its trying to get, oh, there it is. And trying to get the light. Murano is known for its shiny bottom. Like, um, but look how beautiful this seashell is. Now I haven't been able to find only a couple of comps on this one. I paid 25 for it. It was half off. And, um, yeah, so again, this will be, uh, 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 I'll, I'll look on Facebook and have them tell me, you know, about how much they generally sell for, because there's only been a, there's only a couple of them that I could find that had the same look as this one, um, with the clear, uh, gl clear glass tentacles on the back. And anyway, I just, I just think it's beautiful and I have a hard time because I love art glass and a Murano so much that my shelves are filling up. I've got a lot of Tree of Lives up there. I think I'm going to start selling my Tree of Lives because um, I like them, but they're, they don't speak to me like these do. Okay, I'm going to set that down here and I'm going to take a break. I will be right back. And I'm back. Sorry, I had to go talk to my daughter-in-law about something. Anyway, okay, and then, so my seashell, my Morenos. Um, okay, and these are called Sigma Taste Setters, and they're molds or wall hangings. These are vintage, too. These were 50% off, so I bought them both. I got them both for $6.97. But look how pretty these are. Now, these are um, hand-painted in Thailand. And there it is, the, the hook to hold it. Anyway, so you can see it says right here. And look how pretty these are. I, I picked these up just, oh, that one's upside down, a little pineapple and just a little decorating. Um, so really pretty hand molds, hand-painted molds. That, that, you know, back in the 60s and 70s, they always liked stuff like this on the wall. So that is in there. Let me set that down there. Okay. And then, um, oh, this ornament. Now, honestly, this isn't the original box. Um, I want to say it's not the original box. It's hard to say because it fits in here so perfectly. And it says made in Egypt on the outside of the box. I mean, it might be the original box. They just lined it with... I paid $6.99 for this. Got to get it open here. And you can tell it's vintage. But look how pretty this ornament is. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love this in hand blown glass and it's I love that they took such precautions to keep it in such good condition. Um, so that one yeah that that's a that's a $6.99 for that and I will probably I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'll sell it for hold on okay there is a price tag sticker an original sticker from this on here and I'm just curious if it says what it is no no this isn't the original box because it, it, this was this box was says triple olive something triple olive something I don't know but anyway isn't that gorgeous so yeah not the original box good to know now that I looked at that okay and then next on our list okay you guys we are halfway down we have uh okay this one this one is really pretty and i haven't even opened it this is a villarian bach lidded dish and i paid 4.97 for this and I think I did open it just to make sure it wasn't cracked or chipped on the inside. So there, on the back, on the bottom, it, there it says, I'm going to chip it and crack it myself. Villery and Bach. And then the top, peel the tape off. And Noah's Ark. There we go. 
hand painted. And there you have the signature of the painter down here. Isn't that cute? I love that. And just the whole idea and the concept, you've got Noah's Ark here and in the tree, you've got the house and, and I just think that's so cute. I love that. So $4.97 for that. And then next I have, okay, this Anchor Hawk and Milk Glass Bowl. I just thought that was really pretty. $4.99 I paid for that. And it's got the gold lining around the top. And these aren't worth a whole lot. I'm not saying they're not worth anything. But and I, what I like too is, let me see if I can get this sticker off. I can show you the bottom. Um, $4.99. And even the bottom has, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I, I just liked it. I thought it was pretty. I didn't really look it up in the store. Um, I just thought it was so pretty that I got it. And let me see. Looking for places to put this stuff as I set it down. Okay, and then you know what? This this is this is a really long haul, you guys. This is a really long haul. We're already at 31 minutes and I'm just barely halfway through, but that's okay. We'll, we are going to power on. Okay, this Pier 1 pedestal candy, or cake, dip, cake platter. All right, little girl, you need to hold that better for me. I'm moving stuff so I don't knock anything over as I pull it out. I fell in love with this. I just think this is so cute. Uh, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? In I the other day when I was looking for a cloche. Um, and I found one at TJ Maxx and I fell in love with it. That I want to know real quick. You know what? If it I mean if it fits, it's barely, barely fitting. Like, I don't think that would be a good idea. It'll end up getting knocked over. It's just, yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is my cloche. And isn't that gorgeous? Is I got that at TJ Maxx and it was $25. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm going to bite the bullet and get it. But this is a Pier 1. And you can see there where it says Pier 1 with the candy cane legs and the Christmas tree. And this I paid $8.97 for. I just you go okay okay we're getting there guys we're getting there okay then we have okay Ray Dunn and I don't usually buy Ray Dunn um, because it's just overdone but I just loved these so they they're they're it's sit let me see this one says rest this one says sit this one says relax and this one says breathe and they were a dollar 97 each and you can see on the back where it says ray done see if i can get the light to catch that just there it is where it says ray done and they are this usually ray done also has says um artisan collection by magenta let me see. I think it had a year on there just now. No. Now, oh, but y'all, these are not glass. You want to know? I just discovered that. A hundred percent melamine. I honestly thought they were glass. They feel like glass. They look like glass. Y'all just discovered something with me. These are plastic. Wow. Which is great. I mean, okay. I never really, I didn't do the tap test. I just picked them up. And I picked them up with the uh, the next plates I'm going to tell you about. And um, so I guess I just assumed they were glass. I honestly think that the... 
Salvation Army actually assumed they were glass also because they were with the glass plates and not with the plastic. So that's how deceptive they are. They felt like glass. They're not as heavy. I just thought they were a thinner glass than most. So these right here are um, crate and barrel bird salad plates, salad dessert plates. But look at these. That Aren't these cute? These are glass. No doubt in my mind, these are glass. And I also paid $1.97 each for these. And you notice the birds are in a different place on each plate. Um, so yeah, so I picked those up too. It's interesting that those are melamine. I just never, just didn't put, put that in my brain. I just now, um, okay, and then I got, they're called Still S-T-I-L, and my granddaughter also found these. These were half off also, so I paid $2 for both, a dollar a piece. These are called stained glass, and these are cordial glasses or, um, I don't know, whatever you want to drink out of them, but look how pretty these are. And they are really dirty. I, I am going to have to clean them up and see if, you, if the light will catch how dirty they are. You can see that. Um, really, really dirty. You could tell they've been sitting on a shelf for quite a while and just built up a lot of dirt before they got donated. I wish I'd have been able to find four, but that's okay. Um, my grand darling found the two and she's like, because she always will find stuff and bring it over to, she'll wander the shelves. She'll be two or three rows over and she'll bring something back and go, okay, are these, Grammy, are these it? Are these good? And I'm like, oh yeah, I like those. Let's get those. Um, or no, that one's that one's not real good, but you know, keep looking, you'll find it. So I found those. I don't know what Chloe's barking at. Now these are imperial glass. Um, and I have an amethyst and a green, and you guys will all recognize the carnival glass. Look how pretty those are. Uh, these are, you see, you can see the amethyst and there's the green one. I paid $1.99 each for these. And I don't know, I just picked these up because I thought they were really super cute. Um, so two bucks each, I got that. I can do that. And then next I have, uh, okay. This is G-G-E-A glass. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Bird is so pretty. Can you see the light shining off of the iridescent, off the gold? And on the bottom, there was a sticker here. Um, but it's gone. But that's okay. And look, it's a clear glass on the inside. And then the rest of it's built up around the tail you can see it's encased the colors are encased in clear glass look how pretty this is i paid did i pay ten no i paid five dollars for this because white tag was half off so i paid five dollars for this isn't that so so pretty i kind of step back a little bit so you're not looking at it right on top of me look how pretty that is again my glass collection. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to sell that or not. Okay, what else do I have here? Okay, now, y'all, I thought Longenberry was... Chloe, hush. I thought Longenberry was baskets, paintings. I didn't know Longenberry was also pottery. Look at this. This is Long and Berry, and this was marked $8.97. White tag was half off, so I paid uh, $4.50 for this. Huge. Like, this thing is big. This is, like, huge. <laughs> I don't even know what you would put in this picture, but it's, I like, look at how big I could put my whole big old hand through the handle. This is so big and beautiful. I just think it's so pretty. Had no clue that Longaberry uh, did pictures. And let me see, it says oven safe, freezer safe, microwavable, dishwasher. 
Yeah, it says Longenberry Pottery uh, Vitrified. Don't know what vitrified means. Anyway, isn't that pretty? So there was that one. And then, let me see. Longenberger. I was thinking Longenberry, aren't I? Longenberger. I, I don't know why long and berry, berry was coming out of my mouth. Okay, I'm glad we corrected that. Um, okay, and then I got this just yesterday, uh, or Monday? Yeah, Monday. Friend of mine, uh, Mitch, and his partner and myself went shopping, and I only came home with a couple of things. You'd be surprised. I was very proud of myself. So this is literally all month long. This is a month's worth of stuff that I'm showing you. Um, there's the other perfume bottle I, t I was telling you about. This is the Art Deco one. I paid $3 for this, and this is silver. And, of course, you can see it's tarnished silver. I could probably clean it up, but I don't want to. And then this is kind of dirty. I need to clean it up. But, yeah, so there's another perfume bottle. Art Deco. Look how cool that is. I'm going to see if you can see it against... Yeah, let's move my hair out of the way and see it against the black. Isn't that so pretty? So that's just really, that's so, it was so different. And I said, I think I said I paid $3 for that. So that was, that was a good find. And then I have these uh, pewter egg mold. And I came home with four things. This pewter egg mold is vintage. Some people are calling it antique. It's not antique. Um, but it's vintage. I paid four dollars for this, and, and it's it's light. It's pewter. It's not cast iron like a lot of the other molds you see. But it's really cute. I really liked it a lot. So I got that, and then I got these. Are they're called uh, Design House uh, Stockholm Stockholm. And look at how pretty these are. And I'm trying to hold it and not drop it. There we go. So these candle, and it takes a, a I'm assuming a pillar candle at the top. That's the only hole. It's, the hole is only big enough for a pillar candy, candle. But honestly, I don't think I would even do that. $4 for each. So that was an $8 fine. <laughs> I think somebody was ringing our doorbell. Um, my granddaughter's birthday was yesterday, so I think things are still showing up, but I don't see a truck out there. I don't see a truck. And then last, but not least, you guys were almost done. We're almost there. Um, oh no, I didn't write these down. So I'm gonna show you this one first. I got this custard belt. And it's a Fenton, Fenton custard bell. Look how pretty. But you guys have to check this out. Check it out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look at, look at that glow. And you can't even get, I mean, I can't even show you how pretty it's glowing because it's kind of light in here. But in real life, let me see. Hang on, I'm going to turn the light off. Oh, there we go. You can see it better. Yeah. Look at that. And that's so pretty. That is such a pretty glow. And all the way up that handle, you can just really see that glow. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, okay. Now, I have a mystery for y'all to solve for me. And I didn't write these down. And now I'm like, okay, I, I got to make sure I write these down. But I'm assuming these are finials. But honestly, I'm going to turn the light back on. We, I don't know to what, but we ha look at this. Aren't they pretty? Now you can see they screw into something heavy duty and you know they're vintage. I paid $3 a piece for it, but we have no clue. There's, the tops of them are painted. There's no filament and people were asking if they were filaments, like are they light bulbs? They are finials for something. 
But if anybody recognizes what these are finials to, if they've seen them before, they are glass, very pretty. And I just bought them just because they're pretty. And I'm like, this is a mystery. This is a mystery I have to solve. Now they're dirty, but I can't, yeah, the dirt's on the outside. I'm like, I, I'm hoping that dirt, I don't know how the dirt would have gotten on the inside, but look how pretty these are, but it is a mystery. Tell me somebody, tell me what, or are they like for the great big in somebody's rich house where they have these huge windows and these great big curtain rods, tie backs for the curtains, um, but they're big. They're, they're very, I'll show you by my hand again. We'll do the hand test. Look at this. I have large hands, y'all. I, 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 I'm Scottish. I've, I've got Scottish blood and I have very large hands and they're bigger than my hand. That's how big they are. I think they were, they measured seven inches from bottom to top and a, um, side to side, it was like three and a half inches, I believe. They're big. So even, I mean, even tie backs or whatever, it would have to be a big, to be holding something big, like large curtains, big bay windows or big windows, you know, even if they were curtain rods, Somebody suggested maybe the top of a bed. I don't know. Maybe y'all can help me solve this mystery. <laughs> and that is it, you guys. You stuck with me. For those of you who did stick with me through the whole thing, I really appreciate you. I love that you guys love watching what I can find. And I'm now, now I get to clean everything up <laughs> and get it photographed and then go find holes for it in my storage unit and get it listed. So that's what I'm going to be spending today doing is working on trying to get this stuff listed. Yay for me. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, follow me when and hit that notification button. Drop a comment on the bottom. Tell me what your favorite item was. Tell me what if if you if you know what those finials are i'm calling them finials because i can't think of anything else to call them if you know what they go to please let me know i am i'm perplexed and um maybe i can maybe one of y'all can help answer that question for me anyway y'all take care of yourselves come back and see me again next time i probably won't have another video till the end of next month just because I'm not shopping as much, I don't have as much going on, or I'm not showing as much, and um, I'm gonna be going to Germany for 10 days at the end of November, so I'm trying to save money for that and sell stuff to put into that trip fund I'm so excited about. And you guys take care, hit the notification button so the next time I do post, you guys, we'll be able to see what I've got first. All right, y'all take care, love you much, and thanks for joining me today.